Hello everybody, my name is Amy Deacon and I am a zoologist at the University of the West Indies in the Department of Life Sciences and I've been coming every week to do Wildlife Wednesday for Shaguana's Public Library where I tell you about a different species of freshwater fish. Today I'm actually going to try and tell you about two species in one episode. Now the first of these species is the tater. The tater is a type of armoured catfish and it's called this because it has very strong protective plates over its whole body. So instead of those soft shiny scales that most fish have, it's very protected. And it's called a catfish because if you look really closely here, it actually has a little whisker like a cat. But in the fish world we call this a barbel. Now, let's start off by telling you about the, the tater. So the first species I want to tell you about is otherwise known as Hypostomus robinii, um, or the mama tater, the Anne-Marie, or the common tater. And it's kind of this yellowish colour, a little bit variable, but usually covered in these leopard spots all over. If you look really closely at the eye, which is hard to do here, it's got a very unusual pupil. So we have a round pupil in our eye, but the tater actually has like a U-shape or a horseshoe-shaped pupil. And this may be to add to the camouflage while it's on the bottom of the river. You can see here that it lives on the bottom of the river because it's very flat on the bottom. And in fact, its, it's um, mouth is um, completely flat to the bottom and it sort of has a, has a sandpaper-like texture so it can scrape the rocks on the bottom to, food, to feed. For this reason, it's also really popular with people who have aquariums in their homes because it saves them the trouble of cleaning the tank. This can be a problem though, and some people have found that in, in garden ponds or in fish farms, when they get tater in the ponds, they can scrape so vigorously that even concrete gets eroded and it can cause a huge amount of damage to those ponds. So the next species I want to tell you about if closely related but different, is the jumbie tater. Now the jumbie tater, as you can see, looks very similar in shape. It has this large head and it tails off, but it's a lot smaller, um, whereas the tater reaches about 30 centimetres when it's fully grown. The jumbie tater is about half of that. But you'll also notice that it's much darker. And the main difference, when you actually see them close up, is the face. Now the jumbie tater has an incredible face. It's covered in protrusions, little spikes, um, tentacles and, and spiny bristles, which is quite different to the, the normal tater. And we're not really sure exactly why they have these. Um, it seems that males have more and it seems that they use them in displays between males perhaps, but a lot of interesting research is still needs to be done on this species. The other thing that's very interesting about these species is that we find them both in Trinidad, we find them in the northern range, and interestingly we find the two species, the tater and the jumbi tater, in sometimes the same places. And this is quite surprising because um, they eat similar things, they have a similar habit of liking to be on the bottom of the stream, so normally that means that one species would dominate and kind of outcompete the other but instead we find that they actually exist quite happily together. So it would be really interesting to know how and why that is and what allows them to, to sort of stay friends and be neighbours in the same habitats. And the other thing I want to leave you with, um, which many people don't realise, is that the tater and the jumbie tater are only known from Trinidad. And it may be that in the future we find out that um, particularly the tater might be in Venezuela, but the jumbie tater was described in the Maracas River and um, we're pretty sure that it's an endemic species to Trinidad. You don't even find either of them in Tobago. So what this means is that the only place in the entire world that you can find these two species is Trinidad. And as I hope I've convinced you, they're really interesting fish. We have a lot more to learn about them. And that's our responsibility because they're not found anywhere else in the world. So as well as being proud of, of these species being found here, um, we should also, I hope some of you might be inspired in the future to do some research and help us get to the bottom of some of these questions about the tater.